Hello and welcome to CAD Drive. In this tutorial, we are going to see how to make model this part in Siemens NX. So, before starting modeling in CAD, we must take a five minutes to understand its shapes and how we are going to create the part. So, if you analyze this part, that is first straight U shaped tube, then at 45 degree angle, that's L shaped tube meet ups both part and this is a third flange at start and end and this circular boss at here so if you analyze this part now you have idea i have to make a, this sweep this sweep and create uh, two bosses and make holes on it and create a boss at front side so that's how we model part in Siemens Annex. Let's get started. So first we are going to make a guide. U-shape guide. Select a front plane. Make a U-shape guide for circular profile to be swept around. See this dimension will be my 55. This dimension will be 12 mm. This dimension will be 25 mm. Finish this case. Case is about fully defined. Now we have to make a profile which we are going to swap around. So the profile will be circle. Click on circle. Define the dimension. The dimension will be OD will be 20 mm. Finish the sketch. Now we have a profile. We have a guide. So let's make a sweep. This will be my center curve, section curve. This will be my guide. Now click on OK and you can see now our U shape profile has been ready now let's make a profile at angle of 45 degree like this so before making a profile we need an axis around which we are going to rotate our plane this will be our axis now let's make a datum scissors around him this is my point this is my x this is my y I am creating for my reference. Now let's uh, select a plane. Reference plane will be this. Axis I am going to rotate about is this. And you can see now 45 degree plane has been created. Now click on OK. Now let's sketch on it. Select the plane, select the sketch. Now let's make a profile of L shape. This is our profile. Let's dimension it. This will be 12 mm. This will be 35 mm. Now let's fully define this. This axis, this axis. Make collinear this point this point make a coincidence and you can see now the sketch is sketch is fully defined now let's apply fillet at this corner so fillet radius should be 12 mm the radius is 12 mm Finish the sketch. Sketch on this plane for circular profile. Project this curve directly. We have a profile, we have a guide. So let's make a sweep again. So this will be my section curve. This will be my guide curve. Click on OK. Boolean is operation is going to be united. 
and you can see now our shape is almost ready now let's make it follow by virtue of shell command use using shell command click on shell command the faces i want to remove is this both is and and the thickness is going to be 2.5 mm now we have a profile hollow profile is ready now let's uh, make a flange on it click on sketch select this face click on ok now we have a create a circle let's project this circle project curve click on ok create two circles one for outer flange one for pitch circle dial let's define it this dial will be 53 this dial will be 42 this dial will be 30 let's project again now we have a sketch ready ready almost now let's define our circles for hole so let's click on circle draw draw the circle at here let's make it for construction click on circle give dimension on it the dia will be 4 make this fully defined now let's make a pattern of it select pattern select circular this is my curve specific point go to center point select this circle i want a four number of quantity angle between them is 90 click on ok now our sketch is now fully defined now let's make a flange so now click on extrude reverse the direction the thickness of flange will be 5 click on unite click on ok and you can see now our flanges has been created here now let's make a flange at bottom side so hide this cage select this space sketch project this curve you dimension it create two circles dimension it it will be 53 this will be 42 make it for construction now let's uh, draw circle dia 4 now define it let's fix this make coincident this and this 
and you can see now our sketch is now fully defined now let's make a pattern for dia full hole select this will be my curve to be pattern specific point go to circle select this circle the quantity will be 4 click on ok and you can see now sketch is now fully defined exit the sketch click on extrude reverse the direction select united and you can see now our flanges have been created now we have to do this to give a chamfer at both edges so select the chamfer this chamfer will be 10 angle of 30 select uh, top face first this chamfer will be 5 click on new set and select this edge click on ok now again select a chamfer select this edge the, this dimension will be 10 angle will be 30 same for this side this chamfer dimension if dimension is in different direction you can change the direction from this side this uh, vertical dimension will be 10 and angle will be 30 and say let's this is 5 outside is 5 inside is 10 again select a chamfer this will be 10 and 30 so now we can see that our part is almost ready now we have to make boss at this side so let's select the sketch select the plane click on ok you can see now let's create two circles let's fully define them distance vertical distance would be 35 outer dia will be 5 inner dia will be 10 exit the sketch now we extrude the sketch toward this side the value will be 30 and please select here none now we are going to do a boolean operation for this feature for boolean operation we have to select the unite uh, this is my target body this is my tool body and now we have to select region to remove i want to remove this space select this space i want to select remove this space also and you can see now the inside portion of this boss has been removed now we have to do final fillet for this part so go to edge plan select this outer radius will be 2 mm select this flanges select this space add a new set this will be 0 0.5 click on ok and you can see now our part is now ready so that's how your approach should be analyze the part analyze the shape according to CAD feature and make feature and you can see now how easily you can na navigate through this cements annex let's if you change the color of this body select body press ctrl j and select a color let's say this is my counter color and you can see now our part is ready that's very simple very easy very neat and clean way that's all from my side if you like this video please subscribe my channel get drive for more, more videos like this and please make sure hit the bell icon so every time we upload video you will get notified thank you for watching